Good evening, everyone, <laughs> and welcome to this recital. It is a, a recital by J uh, Julian Berger. Uh, he has uh, put all the music together for this, and you will notice even uh, as a composer for some of it. Uh, he and his friends are going to provide what amounts to more than a recital. I heard them rehearse Tuesday night. It's also a concert. So, uh, Julian, you want to come up and introduce yourself, and then I'll turn the microphone over to you. So. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. Um, this is a huge turnout, so <laughs> thank you so much. Um, the, I will be playing a bunch of stuff today. Um, the first piece is uh, the Machinsky Saxophone Sonata. Um, it's a very pe famous piece of classical saxophone repertoire. Um, classical is relative for saxophone. It was written in 18, uh, 1970. Uh, so pretty modern in terms of the grand scheme of music. But um, the first movement is very lyrical, has a mysterious quality. And then the second movement is very percussive and aggressive. Um, so I hope you enjoy. This is uh, Robert Machinsky's saxophone sonata for alto saxophone and piano. And I'll be accompanied by Yumiko Ferrada. Yep. Thank you so much.
This is the Fuzzy Bird Sonata. It is um, a sonata written for Nanoi Zagawa, who is a sac uh, Japanese saxophonist. This was written in 1995, so even, um, even more recent than the Muczynski. Um, so I, I'll play one movement, which is run bird, but each movement is a depiction of a bird doing a certain thing. So the movements are run bird, sing bird, and fly bird. And the run bird movement is very rhythmic, also has varying time signatures like the Muczynski. Um, it's very interesting. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
wondering what the name means, well, it means nothing, and that's the point. <laughs> so, um, I actually wrote the piece in mind with having it be a little bit of, uh, I guess you can call it a, a genre like mix where you just don't even know what genre it is at some times. It can be Latin, it can be like almost like a funeral march, sometimes it's even heavy metal. Um, who even knows? Um, so, this piece is pretty cool, um, in my opinion. <laughs> um, so yeah, hope you enjoy. Uh, I'm going to be playing it with fellow members of NVYW, which was a um, youth wind band I was part of for uh, two years. So, Abby, Joe, and Owen, um, all on their respective instruments. So, thank you, and uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
Phil Glass Saxophone Quartet. There's only one, so that's why we call it the Phil Glass Saxophone Quartet. It was commissioned by Sigurd Rascher um, and his quartet, and Sigurd Rascher is a famous saxophone educator. Um, it was originally published in 1995, so again, very contemporary. Um, it was both published as a standalone saxophone piece and also a saxophone concerto accompaniment with orchestra. Um, and you might know Phil Glass, he's one of the pioneers of minimalist music. It's definitely not minimalist. <laughs> um, the first movement is, um, is, features these undulating rhythms with repeating structures, um, which is his minimalist quality in this piece. And then the fourth movement is very fast paced, has a lot of varying time signatures as well, so it's, very, um, it's a very exciting piece. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. This is Phil Glass's saxophone quartet. We'll be playing the first and fourth movements.
Um, this is a very famous text, a Latin text, um, about the Virgin Mary. Um, and this was set to music by Mor Morton Lors Lor sorry, Lauritsen. Um, he is currently one of the professors of composition at USC, University of S Southern California. Um, and this was originally a choir piece. Uh, I set it for eight saxophones, as you can see. Um, and it's a very, um, you, can, you can tell as soon as we start playing, it's a very spiritual piece. Um, it means a lot, and there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of religious um, themes you can, you can um, tell from the music. Um, so without further ado, let's get started.
all of you all that uh, helped help make this even a great musical. Uh, and if you would like to, greet folks out of the our lobby. Thank all of you for coming, and it's been a great concert. So thank you very, very much. for allowing us to play in this magnificent space. Um, and also, thank you so much to all of my musical music teachers uh, throughout my life, especially Mr. Frederick, who was very instrumental in putting this on. You can give him a round of applause. <laughs>